4779 That's 352-404-4779. It will change your life. 352-404-4779. Putting the local back into radio. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. W-O-C-A News. Variety. Information. Now. Keep your arms and legs on the inside at all times. This is WOCA, News Talk 1370. Your source for the number one sports weekend, Fox Sports, only on 96.3 FM, 1370 AM. All right, five minutes after 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Beautiful, sunny Monday morning. Beautiful, just just really nice. And the, the, the forecast is not calling for any rain today, although, you know, it could be. Sometimes they say there will be rain, sometimes not. But right now it is, what is the temperature, 60, oh no, 70, 70 degrees right now. Climbing up into uh, the lower 90s today. Galen Newnold is on the phone from Life South Community Blood Center to remind us of the important role that we play in making sure that there is a blood supply simply by donating blood. Good morning, Galen. Hey, good morning. Larry Robbins, how are y'all? Pretty good. Where are you right now? Uh, I'm in Ocala right now, so be leaving the house here in about 30 minutes. All right, all right. To take care of something before I hit the road. Did you hear about the naked tourists that may have caused an earthquake? No, I, I missed that one. Yeah, no. Uh, there, there's a few Canadians in the mix. We just thought you'd you'd enjoy. Of course, there are. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's, this is actually a true story. It's in Malaysia. The the uh, the, the mountain is sacred, and and uh, anyway, these tourists decided to go naked, and now the the people who believe that the mountain is sacred is are blaming their nakedness for causing the earthquake. Oh boy, that's no. not good, is it? That's not good. No, and they're keeping them there. So now the Canadian government has to pull some strings and get those kids back home. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, so how's the how's the blood supply today? Um, it's okay. We're uh, we need O negative right now, pretty desperately, and uh, we always need platelet donors. So that's kind of where we're at. All right. Th- this segment with Galen is brought to you by Pen Flooring. Go over to Pen Flooring and thank them for sponsoring this. They have been putting floors in people's homes for over 25 years. They could put a nice floor in your home and, and make the thing look nicer, carpeting or wood flooring or tile or linoleum or something I don't even know about. They, the showroom is at 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the McKay-Williams Bridge, which crosses the railroad tracks on 17th Street. Yep. All right, so, so let's see a few things. First of all, we, we went to uh, Caledicy Island on uh, Saturday. Have you ever heard of this place? No, no. It, it's it's kind of near Clearwater or near, yeah, near Clearwater, I, I guess. Uh, and it's off of, Dun- I guess Dunedin is the actual address. Mm-hmm. And the, you have to take a boat to get there. So it's kind of cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. One of those uh, barrier islands. Right, it's one of the barrier islands, and the, the the guy on the boat said, on his little microphone, he said that um, in 1921, a hurricane came through, causing the island to separate from the other barrier islands and made it a separate island. Oh, that's cool. And then in 1985, another hurricane came through, 85, that's in our lifetime, anyway, uh, uh another hurricane came through and closed the gap between uh, Clearwater and beach and this beach and, and so you can technically get there by bridge now but you'd have to walk about a mile and a half wow something, that's cool something like that anyway that's really cool just kind of fun fun stuff yeah, stuff stuff is- here in florida you don't you know you just don't know that. oh yeah it's amazing isn't it so actually my topic today for you is um uh un- underrated theme parks that are not in Florida. <laughs> okay. Underrated theme parks. Oh, okay. Uh, underrated amusement right. parks, I guess, is what they're called. Okay. But first I want to ask you, do you know what Lululemon is? No. Lululemon. No. <laughs> I'm waiting for Robin to come back in here. Lululemon, I, I think it's the company, that, that it's a brand name, that they make those uh, yoga pants. Okay. Have you heard of this, Robin? Do you know what Lululemon I've is? I've heard of yoga, yoga oh, no, pants. I, I sure. haven't heard of that. That sounds new to me. Okay. Well, Lululemon is okay. Yoga pants are described as the pants that snug that hold you snugly. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I know what yoga pants are. Yeah. And there, there you go. <laughs> is, that, is that them? Yeah. Yeah. Oh really? Okay. Uh, that <laughs> was perfect that? timing. Ask, ask and you shall receive. That was perfect <laughs> timing. But that guy's not wearing yoga pants. No. 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 
So they basically, again, they, they leave very little to the imagination, it sounds like. <laughs> it looks like. Well, they're just form-fitted. How about that? <laughs> form-fitted. <laughs> and if the sun is hitting it right, apparently you can see the skin under them. Yes. I guess. Oh, depending on what color you're wearing. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, this lady is walking in the shade, so. Uh, all right. And, uh... <laughs> Uh, let's see. So, so now there's a story out that says more than one in seven dollars spent at Lululemon is for men's items. Oh, this is this. Okay. Oh, this I is not check good. Check that out. One in yeah, seven. I've never heard of that. Just, just so you know, if you, if you, well, this is gonna be a new thing. No <laughs> yoga pants in the mall. Exactly. Exactly. Well, we'll see. They're allowing <laughs> dogs in the mall, so we'll see. The <laughs> yoga pants. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. It makes men look like a like a Ken doll. Is what it says here. <laughs> That's what we all want to look like, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Mikhail Baryshnikov is going to have the first. There's lawsuit. nothing I could wear that would make me look like a Ken doll. I'm sorry. <laughs> just nothing I could wear that would do that to me. Uh, all right. Well, there you go. Who could do that? That takes a lot of work and a lot of airbrushing. <laughs> John Bastow, right? He could look like a Ken doll. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, that way. Anyway, so this I is... I heard from that guy in a long time. No, no he got famous. Once once they become famous, they say, eh, forget them. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, have, I, mean we, I haven't heard him on anything. Oh, really? He's on some kind of infomercial. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah, he was doing infomercials. Yeah, hope he's not. Well, all right, so I have I have the uh, underrated amusement parks in this country. <laughs> we'll do it. Just I'd share the Lululemon story with yeah, you. Yeah, I love that. The key story. to all the the key to all of these is it's just fun that people watch. You know. That yeah. is true. Truth. That is true. It is fun that people watch. By by the way, you know the 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 ticket prices we were talking about for Wet and Wild down in Orlando. Yeah. If you're a Florida resident, it's thirty nine dollars to get in one time. Okay. If you're not a Florida resident, it's fifty seven dollars to get in one time and then get the rest of two thousand fifteen for free. That's well, pretty that awesome. Could be it. So it se- seems to me like I'd rather go as a non Florida resident, then I can go back. Right. Right. Well, you're paying an extra ten bucks. So I'll bet you if you're a resident, you can come and pay the extra ten bucks. I'll bet you they have something like that. I don't oh know. really? I don't know. And then for eighty kind of for eighty nine fifty. I haven't been there in so long. I never paid for parking when no. when Alex was little. No, it was never parking. But now eighty nine fifty, oh, yeah. you get in for one time, and that includes parking. And the rest of the year, you not only get it for free, but the parking is free. So now they charge for parking too. Yeah. Oh yeah, gosh. Yeah. I, I I when I, I told you yesterday I, I, or Friday, whenever we were talking about, it, I'm like, it's a lot more expensive than you think. Yeah, so. no, I know. That's why I, I looked it up because I was just curious. Yeah. Well, anyway, yeah, so absolutely. with that said, Wild Waters is having their. They say they've got some new stuff. Yep. They've got a, a ribbon oh, cut. A ribbon cutting on Friday. If you go, you get a free voucher for something in the future. I guess you can use it in, at the park. Something. A free lunch. Something is always better than nothing, Larry. I know, but it doesn't say. It doesn't say what it is. It says receive no. a special voucher to be used for a future visit. Maybe just okay. to get in for free. I don't know. All right, okay. let's see if you've heard of any of these uh, amusement parks. Un- underrated amusement parks. Nobles Grove in Islesburg, Pennsylvania. Have you heard of this place? No, I have not. Nobles Grove. It's free admission and you pay per ride. That's what okay. it says. Free admission and you pay per oh, ride. Right, that's not good. That that always ends up costing you more. Probably, yeah. Well, that's how Disney started. If you want to go in and yeah, unless you just want to go in and get uh, people watch, then it's good. But um, yeah, I, I would think that would become expensive pretty quickly. But Disney was not free to get in there. You had to pay to get in and then pay yeah for the tickets for the rides. Right, but it wasn't a horrendous was, amount. No. It was real cheap. It was like a quarter a ride or something. I remember that a long time ago. So. All right. It's Storyland in uh, Glen, New Hampshire. It's described as the most magical place in the East Coast for little ones. Cinderella's pumpkin coach and the swan boats. Oh, how cute. There you go. There you go. Go to New Hampshire. Yeah, how cute. Now, the next place, I actually stopped just to use the restroom. <laughs> it's in Doswell. This is going to be exciting. Doswell, Virginia, King's Dominion. Yeah, I had no idea I was stopping at, a, at an amusement park. Oh yeah. King's Dominion. Yep. Have you gone there, Galen, in Virginia? Yeah. Well, I, I I kind of have. I when I worked for a the the t-shirt company, I went there and I visited them to try to tell them t-shirts. I've never 
been inside the park, really. So well, I went into their main offices. Was that a hard business selling Morning, T-shirts? Tish. Oh, there she is. Look how beautiful. <laughs> Look how uh, beautiful. Oh, welcome back, Tish. <laughs> um, well, it wasn't. It was. It had its moments where it was extremely easy and it was extremely difficult. Really? So, I mean, everybody. I mean, there's something like 1.2 million T-shirts bought on a given day in this world. So. Um, you know, more people wear T-shirts than anything else. What was the, what was the key to, to selling T-shirts? Was it a clever slogan or something? No, it was all about the design. The design and the price, just like everything else. Oh, okay. people, people don't want to pay a lot for them, but they want the best designs you can get. Oh, really? So you would try to come up with designs that were, like, theme park specific? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I, there, you know, I, I, I had a whole team behind me. I, we had five artists on staff and stuff like that. We were... It's a pretty big company. They they were one of the largest T-shirt manufacturers, well, printers in the Southeast. So, yeah, I had a whole team behind me. So if you did those three solid circles that look like the Disney logo, would you get in trouble? Yeah, eventually they'll come after you. Isn't that something? (laughs) Isn't that an an amazing logo, really? It is. It's an amazing logo. It's three circles, and everybody knows it's Disney. And again, it would depend. It would depend on how closely they were together and all that. But um, it, and and the thing is, is we sold to Disney, so the, you didn't want to get a cease and desist letter. <laughs> yeah, <Disney>. yeah. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, sure, sure did. Yeah, uh, you did not want to get that. So, it, it, but I'll tell you, the most the, the people who go after their license more than any other is the NCAA. They're they are they are bulldogs about it. So wow, yeah. So many people love copying their logos, though. Wow, I didn't know that. All right, let's take a little break, and we'll be right back with the underrated amusement parks, not only in America, yeah. but mm-hmm. else, elsewhere in the world. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. It'll be partly sunny today with a thunderstorm in parts of the area, mainly during the afternoon hours over the interior, the high 86 on the coast, 92 inland. Tonight will turn out mainly clear with a low of 69 to 73. The intervals of clouds and sun tomorrow with a shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon, high 87 to 91. For Wednesday, sun mixing with clouds with a couple of afternoon thunderstorms, the high 87 to 91. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. I think I sabotaged my efforts to have the best garden in the neighborhood because I told my neighbor about Kenny's Place Nursery, and guess what? Now she has the best garden in the neighborhood, so I gotta get down there. And they have some specials going on right now. Four-inch pots of marigolds, two for just one dollar. Three gallons of night-blooming jasmine for seven dollars. And don't forget the society garlic, a gallon for three seventy-five. Kenny's Place Nursery is at 7677 Southeast 41st Court here in Ocala. Give them a call at 867-1213 for Kenny's Place. Hi, Danny Warfel here. Get moving with Florida Credit Union's fast and easy loan approval process. Let Florida Credit Union start up a new car loan for you today. No more waiting, hassles, or stop signs. You can even apply online. With a strong financial team behind you, you can enjoy great rates and fast approvals. It's all about personalized service and a streamlined process. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Career Source Citrus Levy Marion brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the first and third Wednesday of each month at 9:30 a.m. to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. That was the sound of a tree falling. It could be your tree. You're going to have it trimmed, but never got around to calling Pride Tree Service. It could have fallen in a field, and now all you have to do is call Pride Tree Service, and they'll have it quickly out of the way for a great price. But don't wait until the tree falls. It may not fall in the field. It may hit your car, your house, or worse. So call Pride Tree Service today and avoid all those headaches before they happen. Pride Tree Service, 840-0750. That's 840-0750. All right, 19 minutes after 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in this nice looking Monday morning. Galen Unold is on the phone from Life South Community Blood Center. Remember the important purpose that Galen serves us while doing these radio bits is not just to entertain us with his radio skills, but to remind us that the blood in your veins, the blood flowing through your veins <laughs> is uh, the only way when you share some of it that if there are people who need it, will get it. 
Yes. I said that awkwardly, but you understand what I mean. So donate blood if you get a chance. And also, be sure to thank Penn Flooring for sponsoring this segment. They they are the ones who uh, make this possible. Their showroom is at 1201 Southwest 17th Street. All right. So you, where are the kids going today? Where, where are they going? Uh, they're going to a church. A what? A church camp. Oh, a church in camp. Bradenton. Okay. Oh, in Bradenton. How long are they going to be there? Just today? It'll be a week, he's he said. Go- he's really. gone. Where'd he go? There he is. Gail? Oh, no, I'm right here. Can okay. you hear me? Yeah, you, I, you dropped oh, off for a little weird. bit there. So no, it's just for today? Yeah. Now, what, what was a the... Week. Oh, a week. No, 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 no. It's for the whole week. Yeah, it's for the whole week. It's uh, uh, They call it the 12 Conference, and so there's kids from all over the Southeast that are going to be there. Something like two or 3,000 kids. Oh, right. Wow. So, it's going to be kind of cool. There's going to be like live concerts and... Um, I'm sure they're going to have a good time. Nice. So today is National Upsy Daisy Day, by the way. <laughs> Upsy Daisy. It's a day. Was, you know, is it Upsy or Oopsy? I always thought it was Whoopsy. I always thought it was Whoopsy Daisy. Whoopsy Daisy. Yeah, yeah Whoopsy Daisy. That's what it is. Uh, but it says here it's uh, National. What is Upsy? Well, I think it's the same thing. It's set aside to encourage you to face the day positively. Yeah, we well, do that. Okay. Big. So when you make a mistake, you go. Whoopsie Daisy. Yeah, up, a yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, upsie, d- <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. If you go to, go to the grocery store and like intentionally run your shopping cart into the back end of somebody, go. Yeah. Whoopsie Daisy. <laughs> Yeah, that's one way to make a friend. Sorry. Yeah, that's that good today. Gives it's Upsie Daisy Day. You forgive me, right? <laughs> no problem. That's awesome. All right, so here's, here's another. Uh, to handle it. Here's another. Have you ever tried to meet a girl like that, Larry? <laughs> I've heard the guys doing that. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I'm trying to think. <laughs> I had to think about it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Intentionally That's pushing awful. your cart into another person's cart. <laughs> that is an interesting t- topic. How? What What have you used to try to meet somebody? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. That would be a good topic. I don't know if I would want to answer any of those questions. Oh, I'll t- I'll tell you one I did when when I was I was going to school across the street when I was Central Florida Community College, and, and there was a beautiful girl in a in a Corvette, and she was just sitting in her Corvette and not going anywhere. So I thought, well, I'm going to go ask her if she knows a word that rhymes with another word, whatever. And I, I walked up to her window. I said, "Excuse me, I'm, I'm trying to I'm writing a song and I can't think of a word that rhymes with whatever it was was." Uh-huh. And she said, "Oh," and she gave me a word. And I said, oh, "Okay, thanks." Mm-hmm. And I went back to my car and I thought, "God, I was so stupid. Why did I do that? That was the." Stu- <laughs> you didn't do anything with that info. Did you get her name? I mean, you didn't go further than that. Hold on, let me finish the story. Okay. So I went back to my car because this was between classes. I went back to my car and I had my old guitar in my car. So I I was just strumming it and just messing with it. And I kept thinking, God, that was so stupid. (laughs) Right? (laughs) She gets out of her car and she walks over and she says, can I hear the song that you're you're writing? And I was like, oh, look at you. Holy mackerel. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And then yada, yada, yada. Then yada, yada. I I showed showed her the song. Nothing ever happened. but Oh, no date. No date. Oh, gee. I was too chicken. I didn't know how to ask. And by the way, you got a well, Corvette. You the hardest part. You broke the ice. You got her to come to you. But, but, but Okay, but tell, <laughs> tell me great. that this isn't a barrier. <laughs> tell me that this isn't a barrier. I was driving a Chevy 2, probably a $500 car. <laughs> yeah, it's on the third day. She was driving a Corvette. A Corvette. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she looked like a rich girl. <laughs> What chance did I stand? You wanted to slum for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I, it, it, but it just goes to show you that chicks dig certain things. They dig tall men. You're tall. They dig guys who can play the guitar and guys who are can sing. Who can sing? <laughs> you got the trifecta going for you. Yeah. There you go. There, but how much was in my wallet? Uh, you you want to go out? <laughs> you know where we can go. Oh, no, 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 no. You could go Dutch. Well, well, if it wasn't that, you know, you could have been very forward thinking and say why don't we go Dutch <laughs> you know no no that wouldn't have worked so you have to thinking. if you you know ask the girl out you pay alright let me get, let me go no, back to the not, no. we can go to an amusement no, park you're a poor college student in college you can get away with with going for you know what uh, I don't have any money what did you call a money. girl just pay for each other when you didn't know her name like, like right now I will say young lady or ma'am but when I was that age I didn't call girls my own age anything Mm-hmm. Unless I knew their name. 
Right. Of course. Oh, right. But but now you say ma'am, right? You say young lady, madam, maybe. I, I ever older. said anybody my age, ma'am. Um, I don't know. I I don't know. I don't know. Really? So you go you go to the uh, you go to the grocery store and the lady oh, gives. Oh, then I call them ma'am. So, yeah. Yes, ma'am. And even if she's your age, even younger, yeah. right? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I thought you meant when I was like. 20 or something. Well, yeah. Well, back then, I'd, I'd, yeah, I was trying to talk to her. If I was trying to talk to a girl in that way, I wouldn't call her ma'am. Yeah. No, I, I'm with you. I wouldn't either. So, but I, so I don't think I called her anything. I think I just no. said, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's probably it, it probably came out a whole lot better than it sounded <laughs> to you. <laughs> you ever talking to a girl and in your head you're, you're you sound like Charlie Brown? <laughs> <laughs> you're like I can't believe that word. <laughs> <laughs> we want to go nowhere with this topic. All right, I mentioned King's Dominion. Yeah, I stopped there uh, to use the restroom. I did not know I was stopping at an amusement park. One of the managers. Uh, how did you even? Go ahead. Uh, how did you get away with that? I mean, I guess you didn't have to pay for parking, but didn't you realize there was a problem when that parking lot's pretty big? Oh, as soon as I pulled in there. Yeah. Uh, as soon as I pulled in, there, I said, "Oh wow, this is like a theme park or something. <laughs> There's a yeah. roller coaster." No, it just proves. <laughs> It proves that no matter how what kind of how well you work under pressure, there's certain kind of pressure that you just don't make good decisions under. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Driving. You know, when you have to go to the bathroom, you do not make good decisions. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I th I thought it was a truck stop. I honestly did. I thought King's Dominion. Oh, that sounds like a truck stop. I'll stop there. Yeah. <laughs> That's all somewhere. So, so did you uh, did you relieve the pressure? Yeah, yeah. They had a they had a place where you could, I guess where you bought tickets and there was a restroom right there. You went into the gift shop and uh, <laughs> absolutely. I, I want to remember this experience. <laughs> <laughs> I was here. Let me get a souvenir. <laughs> All right, here's yeah. an, another underrated amusement park. It is called Lagoon. It's in Farmington, Utah. Oh, uh, water! I bet you the food is fantastic. The shows are great, and there's a water park. Oh, nice. Uh, All right. It's probably frozen half the year. Here's one. Uh, there's, there's one in here that uh, I've heard Joe talk about in North Carolina. Okay. Where is it? Um, Carowinds. You ever hear Joe talk about Carowinds? Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. In Charlotte, North Carolina. It's, it's one of the yeah. best underrated amusement parks in the country. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, it says I've uh, tried to sell T-shirts there, too. Halloween. <laughs> they, oh, wow. they, they call it Halloween Scarowinds. It said it's one of the best okay. haunted house places in the country. Wow. Hmm. That's awesome. That sounds like fun, someplace I'd like to go. Any yeah, others? In the, let me look for some others in the southeast. So there's one. Uh, oh, that's you know, I did sell uh, T-shirts to Silver Springs and Wild Waters. Did oh, you? Oh, you did? So, there Good you for go. you. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Woo. That's they great. They didn't buy a lot. Uh, Bristol. I usually sold, you know, like 50000 at a time, and I think they bought like a hundred. Oh, 50,000. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. That was yeah. quite a profit for you. Was that your own business? No, that's... <laughs> I, I know every, whenever I sell... Whenever I say, yeah, I used to sell T-shirts, they always think I was driving along and they were in my trunk. Yeah, but right. no, I mean, it was a... It was a... It was a, it was a multi-million dollar business. There were 200 employees and I was just one of their sales reps. Oh, I, I mean, see. I uh, see. Yeah, I did picture it yeah, was I mean, just you. Yeah, big. Oh, uh, Okay. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, I mean, there were, we would, I sold to uh, all the cruise lines and to Disney, and um, our average order was about 30,000 pieces. So, Wow. And they only bought 500? I sold them all over the world. All over, yeah, and so we bought 500. <laughs> oh, 500. Yeah, they bought 100. I'm sorry, 100. Uh, it was 100. You know who else, you know, who else so, used um, to sell with Silver Spring? It was Bobby Goldsberry. He used to sell the, that children's show he did. Remember, yeah. Remember? Yeah, the Critters. Oh, what were they called? Yeah. They're uh, critters, something critters, the critters, swamp critters, I think, something like that. All right, one more I'll tell you about is in Bristol, Connecticut. It's called Lake Compounds. What is that? What's in there? It's, comp it's a compact park with other great roller coasters. It's, oh. a, it's a water park. Anyway. Nice. Soda is free. Oh. Soda is free. That, that's an interesting. A very interesting. Little perk. Soda is yeah. free. It, that's what you wanted. You want your kids hopped up on caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> to ride the coasters. So you then do. when they sure. leave, they crash. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and it's in, in Seoul, South Korea, they have a, a, a theme park called Lottie World, 
We have soy flavored popcorn and and sugar ketchup on corn dogs. Oh, oh, oh! Sugar I ketchup. I think I would like the uh, soy flavored popcorn <laughs> because soy's got a little salty taste to it. Yeah, yeah. that'd be good. Yeah, wow. that wouldn't be that bad. I don't know about the. I don't like ketchup though. So, Galen, we got twenty five yeah. seconds. Where's the blood mobile today? We're at the uh, Public Hall Mary Camp today. So uh, the brand new one that's right out there next to Gray State Steakhouse. Oh, nice. Well, enjoy your day. Yeah, tell, right you, nice. tell your kids have a gr- good time at their at their summer camp, and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Sounds great. Hey, thank you, guys. Thank you, Galen. Be careful. We'll be right back. Bye, y'all. Fox News Radio, I'm Pat O'Neill. President Obama and other leaders talking about terror at the G7 meetings in Germany. Guests including the Iraqi Prime Minister and the new Nigerian President, both invited to discuss the fight against militant groups like ISIS and Boko Haram. G7 leaders also discussing climate change, perhaps emerging with a pledge on limiting global temperature rises. Fox Radio's Simon Owen at the summit. A $100,000 reward now being offered for information leading to the capture of two convicted killers who escaped from a prison in upstate New York. The inmates use power tools to drill through cell walls. He snaps a 69 race losing streak. Martin Truex Jr. wins Pocono for his third Sprint Cup triumph. The call on Fox Sports 1. Kevin Harvick was second and still leads the overall standings. Truex is second. Fox News. We report. You decide. Fox News Early Prime, breaking down...